Good morning. So we are getting bunnies here at the homestead again. This is so great when we are getting bunnies. You know, our female rabbit is pregnant and we thought she would give birth yesterday, but uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. You know? And there's one thing, when they open their eyes and they start jumping around, they are incredibly cute, of course. But, you know, when you get close to them, before they get to know you, they just hide, right? And it's an instinct that they have, of course. And you never saw anything move this fast. It's incredible. You get in there and they, boom, and they are gone, you know. And then they get to know you and this will change. But this is what's happening in the beginning. And I was reminded of these bunnies when I was watching the UK Parliament. It's true, because you know Andrew Bridgen was talking in the Parliament. I post a link to this. It's so funny. You know, the very first part of the video and the speech from Andrew Bridgen is fantastic. So he was announced, and these other MPs, <laughs> boom, they were gone. You know. Wow. Now he's a true hero, Andrew Bridgen. Brilliant. And he will be the winner. And these other jerks, pathetic idiots, they will be scorned in the future. Fantastic. And then there's this one. It's also from the UK. And I think it's, uh, I think it's mainstream media. I'm not sure about this. The Jeremy Vine Show, right? Channel 5, I think, right? So this guy, Jeremy Vine, he had a, a cop on the show. And he was uh, talking about uh, Hancock and the government, this cop. He was so angry. And he said, you know, I did everything they told me to do. And now he was just pissed off about what they have done over the last three years. And he said the conspiracy theories of 2020 are all turning out to be true. Was this mainstream media? I think maybe it was, right? And then finally this, about the Netherlands election, right? Now the BBB party, the Farmers Party, they did very well. I don't know the final result, but um, I think they got 19%. And they got 15 seats in the Senate. And in media, they are described as uh, right-wing populists. Okay? And they are described as a threat to the globalist jerk Rutte and his coalition. Rutte's coalition, they dropped from 32 seats to 24, okay? So this is all very good. This is a big change. Finally, you have people voting differently in the Netherlands, right? I know a lot of countries would be happy to see this kind of change. Here in Sweden, we are happy because we had a change in the last election. Yes, people voted differently for the first time in many, many decades you know, here in Sweden. So it's great. Now, of course, it's not perfect. <laughs> it's far from perfect. Well, but you can be happy about it. That's the thing. Because I saw a lot of people celebrating this in the Netherlands. Wow, we have a change here. That's good. No. But I also saw quite a lot of negativity, you know? and it's okay, you know, but I was thinking, I was wondering about this, why aren't you celebrating this? And then I thought about something that I learned many, many, many years ago, I learned this, that small minds think small thoughts. You know? They say, well, it's not perfect, so I will not be happy about it. I, I think you should take the win in the Netherlands. Don't let these assholes take this away from you. You saw a change here in the Netherlands. And you can improve from this. You know, you got together, supported this party, 
and it's a threat to the globalist assholes. Oh, be happy about it. Alright, that's all. Be good.